uh, we have reached Punar Mahatsav. So essentially, here's the parking. You have to pay 30 bucks and 50 bucks for car. So that's the entrance. Now we are gonna go inside and check what all stalls we have. As we entered, we could see textile stalls, some kurta stalls, and stuff. There are like a lot of things. We'll go store by store and uh, cover. So basically, all the textiles are here. And uh, as you could see, I'll zoom in and show, we have uh, jackets from North Delhi, then uh, we have silk from Bihar, and uh, we have stuff from Uttar Pradesh. We have again Bagalpuri silk from Bihar, and uh, here we have some craft objects. They look really pretty and uh, this side also we have, so these are wall decorations. So yeah, and then we have ceramics, studio pottery from Uttar Pradesh. So yeah, these all are the bowls and ceramics. These are cups. Yeah, this is spread across everywhere. So we'll go and shoot. This side we have these beautiful uh, diffusers. So just took bunch of stuff. Price is kind of okay, like because they are ceramics. So this also is kind of an entrance but it's closed. So let's explore from this side. I could see bunch of furniture and all. I'm not sure if video lighting is bright enough to show you around. But uh, yeah, again here we have a bunch of ceramics and pots. They have all the different types of ceramics and pots. And we have this beautiful furniture. What is under the craft furniture? This is really nice. We have these camels and all. Next to the furniture store, uh, we have the beddings and all from Hyderabad. There we have statues and stone carvings. We'll go cover that later. And uh, here we have pretty much textile everywhere. A lot of uh, textile based stuff. So we have carpets and rugs, the famous ones from the UP. Uh, all the rugs as you could see. And uh, we have leather juti here from Firozpur, Punjab. And again, beddings from North Goa. Bed sheets and saris from UP. Yeah, on the other side, uh, I'm covering both the sides. So here are some there are dresses and all. These are some dresswear from Tripura. So from all over the India folks have came here and set up their stalls. And uh, yeah, looks really attractive to see. We have some great cute prints. This is from Delhi, they are selling uh, handcrafted purse and stuff. We have herbs. So here we have a bunch of herbs from Bhopal. 
ना उसको घोल कर जैसे तरबत पीते हैं ना भाई ऐसे पीना है सर आपको बस So this guy is trying to sell me an Ayurvedic medicine. I'm trying out. जड़ सुधार क्या होता है? ये भस्म है, ये दवा नहीं है। हाँ हाँ। इसमें मिलाकर इसको गरम करके उस तेल तेल को इसे लगा लो। Okay. ये बीस सरसों का तेल। सरसों का तेल। ये सरसों के तेल में डाल के गरम करना। गरम करना है। इसमें जड़ सुधार मिलाना है। जड़ सुधार। जड़ सुधार। वो कहाँ मिलेगा? ये दुकान में मिलेगा जड़ी बूटी के दुकान में। ठीक है। एक ग्राम इतना आता है एक ग्राम। आपके पास नहीं है? नहीं मेरे पास नहीं है। तीन सौ रुपए का एक ग्राम आएगा तो इसमें कम से कम आपको छः ग्राम मिलाना है। अच्छा। तीन सौ रुपए का हिसाब से छः ग्राम। I don't know why, but I feel like buying some stuff from these Ayurvedic tribal folks. Hope it works. If even if it doesn't work, it's fine, but it should not harm me. Now this guy is taking me to another shop to show me like how does the herbs look like. Not sure if this thing works or not, but burn 2000. Here we have Assamese textile from Jaipur. Punjabi jutis and a lot of female wear we have. So the exhibition. I didn't find so far not even one single store which deals with uh, male clothing but uh, yeah. here they have again bed sheets and liners, Bhagra Choli, Jodhpur, uh, Rajasthani dresses and all. So this is again the herb. स्टोर अभी अभी लिए इजी हॉप स्टोर एंड हियर वी हैव लेदर प्रोडक्ट्स बैग्स एंड ऑल देन वी हैव कॉटन सूट सारी फ्रॉम मध्य प्रदेश हियर मुरादाबाद यूपी देर सेलिंग क्वेश्चंस एंड ऑल बनारसी सिल्क सिल्क साड़ीज here we have stuff from Punjab, Patiala, the dresses and all. And uh, yeah, bed sheeters are kept outside. Jaipuri block print. So almost everything is like female dresses and stuff on either sides. And mostly it's all uh, hand looms and uh, block print stuff. So as you could see here. This is from Jammu and Kashmir, the silk, Ladakh silk. Bilal Bihar, Hyderabad handloom. We have this fun block moving uh, Lego sort of a thing. Here we have. The kitchen wear and again female dresses in the night it's looking really pretty not really sure if camera is doing the justice or not but yeah this is how these wall decor shine up so and again we have ceramics here all the ceramics And designer tops from Meerut. And uh, finally, we have something to eat. Chikki from Rajasthan. Srinagar clothing, silk, and uh, beautiful uh, wall hangings and wood made from bamboo. So, here's the store, and they are from Chhattisgarh. They look like absolutely beautiful. And uh, here we have South Delhi Jewellery. And uh, yeah, we came towards the end. 
you have Ramanagar, Karnataka, toys. These you find pretty much everywhere. And uh, artificial jewelry and handbags, some bangles and stuff. Over that side, we have different sort of cuisines, food stuff, but um, hardly few stalls are just open so far. So, this side of the section is covered. I'll just go there on the other side and uh, we'll record. Times to look really pretty. This is a rotating flute. Oh. Link. Fun stuff. Just I'm on a buying spear. So far has purchased all this stuff. I wish I would have came in a car. I would have taken more stuff, but in a way it's good. So, these are the similar world decor. Then here we have brass objects. Again on the other sides, we have a lot of female clothing, leather accessories. Clothing, clothing, clothing everywhere. And there we have a store also from Kolkata. This is made up of brass again. The ship looks really great. Uh, things made from clay. All the clay items like terracotta pottery also we say it. These all are from Delhi. They have also beautiful fountains here. So one thing I realize is like, I don't know, I've been cheated by those Ayurvedic folks, uh, but uh, it's okay. Here, for everything you have to bargain a lot and that's what I've learned. These are some beautiful uh, stone carvings. There's these amazing fountains also. And these things came from Agra, Uttar Pradesh. So as you could see, they have a chessboard as well. And uh, so all different sorts of... And then again, this side we haven't covered, so let's go see. So this is the only block we have carpets and rugs the same one that we have seen on the other side here they are selling gujarati papad snacks and uh, again art metal wear this is also brasso brass and a lot of uh, wooden objects for decor and all and they are from rampur uttar pradesh Here we have Banarasi silk, Kashmiri silk sari, and again we have reached the same point. So I guess uh, now we have only few stalls at the end, those are left. 
let's just go and uh, cover them as well so that we'll cover this complete exhibition what i suggest is like prices are bit on a higher side and uh, you have to literally bargain very heavily my mistake that i haven't bargained at few places but after buying the brass ship i understood the rates and the margins and the way at which you can buy these stuff so yeah it happens whenever we enter such flea markets so we have crocket suits from delhi all these and then we have stuff beautiful man like the craft again we have ceramics ceramic ceramics again people and food stalls are filling up and there in the end we have dry fruits here we have jewelry and uh, dream catcher jaipuri clothing again kandi kurtis handloom dresses jackets cushion covers from uttar pradesh the jutis and stuff so that's all in this lane and uh, we are almost over i guess and not so much of crowd also who know if it's a monday maybe that that's all for this exhibition and uh, not sure no opinions but it was fun shopped all this bunch of stuff have to go back on the bike again hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, let's stay tuned for another adventure